If soft, delicious, and savory is your vibe, then I want to be friends. Get into this popular Nigerian delicacy called yam pottage. It is full of flavor and easy to make. You like good food? I make good food. So stick with me as I show you how this is made. Welcome back to my channel, Serves by Edie, where it's all about food, family, and lifestyle. For this yam pottage recipe, you will be needing a tuber of yam, onions, red bell peppers, scotch bonnet, some salt, some palm oil, deboned dry fish. You will also be needing some ground crayfish or ground shrimp, however it is called where you come from, some bouillon cubes, and cut up shrimp. This type of yam is common in African cuisine. I must warn you though, it can be a hit or miss. I tried to cut into the yam more to be sure it was only a little part of it that was bad. Now, when you've discarded the parts that are bad, you wanna peel off the skin neatly and cut each slice into cubes like this. You wanna rinse well under running water and then you transfer finally to a big pot. Add in some chopped onion, season with salt and ground shrimp. Add in some water to just about the level of the yam cubes. You wanna to just toss it around a little and then cover and let it start to cook. You will need this to cook for at least 10 to 15 minutes. While that is cooking on the side, you want to start to prep your peppers. I did go ahead to boil my red bell pepper, scotch bonnets and onions slightly before proceeding to blend. And this I found reduces the cooking time of the sauce by about half. In a pan, you wanna heat up some palm oil, add in your chopped onions and let it fry until it's a bit fragrant. And go in with your blended pepper mix. When the oil is rising to the surface, it is time for the deboned dry fish and more of that ground shrimp. This is a time that you add in your bouillon cubes and your salt to taste. Any other spices or seasonings that you want to add, this is the time to add it in the sauce. You want to continue to fry on medium to low heat for a few more minutes. Check that your yams are semi-soft and then combine the sauce and the yams. Adjust the seasoning and let it keep cooking till the oil has risen to the surface and your yams are very soft. Add in your shrimp and let it simmer for about five more minutes. And then you can use a wooden spoon or a dough blender to break down the big yam pieces into little chunks. You don't need it to be smooth. We still need texture in this dish. And that's it. If it is looking like this, then it is yam pottage. Some people call it yam porridge. Serve with your favorite protein. And now this dish can be adapted. You can swap yams for potatoes. Only difference would be the cooking time. Please, if you're yet to subscribe, go ahead and do so. Lightly touch the like button as well and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of my uploads. As always, the detailed recipe for this Nigerian yam pottage is on the website at foodsterves.ca. I hope to see you in my next video. Ciao.